This is driveworkslive.com. I have scrolled down to our technology section where you will find all of our tech stacks. I'm going to select our integration tech stack and I will explore integration. The layouts of our tech stacks contain navigation. This will guide you through the sections. Some of the pages also have subsections to explore. The tech stacks are fully interactive, containing lots of information that you can have a go at. I'm going to start with an overview of this tech stack. DriveWorks has the ability to easily pass data to and from third party systems. This is important and gives you the ability to fully integrate company systems and departments into your overall implementation. Using current up-to-date data saves time and reduces errors. DriveWorks has many ways of reading, writing, sending and receiving data from files, databases and web services, as well as bi-directional communication with Application Programming Interface or API and DriveWorks Power Packs. This data could be information you need as part of your rules or to populate options on a form, or could be data about your configured products such as bill of materials that you need for downstream manufacturing. This integration needs to be as automatic as possible. With so many third party systems available, it is important that DriveWorks can communicate with them no matter what their preferred integration method is. DriveWorks can easily integrate with many systems that belong to the categories that you can see here in this image. So let's look at our integration methods, starting with section two. Section two looks at our integration with files, starting with exporting data to files. DriveWorks can export data to most standard file types. These include text-based files, as well as integration with Microsoft Word and Excel. DriveWorks allows you to build rules for the new file name and path, as well as the data that will be passed to the file. Templates can then be used that will be copied and driven based on your rules. DriveWorks integrates easily with these popular file formats that you can see here, represented by icons. This tech stack has an example of file export and will export this bill of materials to four different file types. You can see my bill of materials here, containing part number, quantity and description. If I make some changes to this configurator, And I'll just change the colour. And you can see that all of these part numbers, descriptions, have all updated. If I click on export bill of materials, DriveWorks has quickly created me some new file formats, each one up to date with the changes in my configurator. I have a text file that I can view, modify or use in other places, an XML file I can do the same. Let's preview these. Here you can see a preview of my text file. Let's have a look at the XML file. Again you can see that previewed. Let's have a look at the other files starting with Word. You can see that bill of materials in Word. And I can also preview in Excel. These files can be based on templates with customised formatting. DriveWorks can also import data from files. Once imported, the file's contents may be used in your rules. Files can be imported at any time during your workflow and can even be used to trigger a workflow using a configurable folder watcher. This example will import an uploaded file into DriveWorks. If your text file contains tabular data, you can select a delimiter so DriveWorks can convert it to a table. In this case, I will choose comma. Some of the other options include tab, pipe bar or other. You can see a file summary down here also. Once converted, tabular rules in DriveWorks will allow you to search and filter your data even further. Section 3 in this tech stack looks at databases, which DriveWorks can easily read from and write to. Let's start with reading from a database. DriveWorks can read and write to any database with our direct Microsoft SQL Server integration, or interface with any database via our ODBC integration.
DriveWorks easily integrates with all of the products you can see here, and lots more. Data can be anything from a single rule to a whole database table, and once that data is in DriveWorks, you can use rules to sort, filter, and process the data as you require. You can use wizards to browse for the data, or alternatively you can write SQL statements in your rules to query your database directly. Each query can even change based on the form inputs and other rules. Here is a sample SQL string which returns a list of countries from the data called customers. You can see the sample here. If I select the drop down arrow, and you can see my country list. I'm going to choose Canada. The second sample SQL string is showing various columns in my customer data and showing customers from the country selected in my combo box, which in this case is Canada. And you can see the table is being ordered by customer name. So if I change the country, and you can see my table update. Let's have a look at writing data to a database. DriveWorks can write data to any database with an ODBC driver, as well as writing data natively to Microsoft SQL Server. The data can be inserted, updated, or deleted based on rules. Again, the most common databases that DriveWorks supports are listed here. You can use wizards to write data, or write rules-based SQL statements to insert, update, or delete data in your database. This text stack shows a sample SQL string to insert a message into a database. In this example, the code will also insert a user ID of 4320 to identify who wrote it. I'm going to type a message. And click Write to Database. My message has been added to the database and available to whoever else is using the database. That user ID has also been added. This is a great example of how data integration can benefit an organisation. Writing data in this manner could also be an order elevation to contract, logging on or off a job in the various stages of production, or even checking part availability or pre-ordering. The next section is web services. DriveWorks can communicate with any web service via our Send HTTP request specification task, which avoids the need to write any custom code. DriveWorks can receive web service requests by setting up a web service endpoint inside DriveWorks Autopilot. Let's start with sending data to a web service. Using the Send HTTP request task, DriveWorks can send web service requests. This enables DriveWorks to talk to any web service such as your CRM system, logistics partners, ERP system and more. I have an example here which has been created using standard functionality in DriveWorks. No custom code is used. It makes use of the Google Distance Matrix API to retrieve the distance and drive time between two destinations. I have an origin set here as Manchester UK and a destination as London. If I click Send Request, the result from the web service gives me a distance of 335 kilometers with a duration of four hours and six minutes. I can change this and send request. So now in my result, my distance is 796 kilometers with a duration of eight hours and 55 minutes. The second example requests a shipping quote in real time from our courier broker, Parcel Monkey. If you imagine we are shipping a parcel from DriveWorks HQ to the address shown. If I click send request, and the data is returned to me from the web service. I can see eight courier quotes returned. It tells me what the cheapest service is and also the most expensive. I can further explore this by changing the country or perhaps changing the weight of my parcel.
This is a great example of sending data to a web service. There is much more you could do. To receive data, DriveWorks Autopilot can be used as a web service. This means that you can program your third-party system to send specification data directly to DriveWorks so that DriveWorks can create your sales and manufacturing data in the background. One example of this might be to have your salespeople work in DriveWorks offline, then send the specification data back to DriveWorks once an internet connection has been established. Our tech stack shows example code you could run in your third-party application to send data to DriveWorks Autopilot. DriveWorks Autopilot would then create all of the data needed to sell and manufacture your custom product. Section 5 looks at integration through our API and also DriveWorks Powerpacks. Starting with DriveWorks API, DriveWorks is built on its own fully documented API which makes it easy to integrate DriveWorks with any of your company systems. You can write code using the DriveWorks API in either Visual Basic.net or C Sharp, and there are many examples of code written against the DriveWorks API on our public GitHub site, which is linked here on our tech stack. These examples are used in VB.net to show an example function and an example task. Using VB.NET and the DriveWorks API, you can write your own functions and tasks for DriveWorks with just a few lines of code. Our SDK includes all of the documentation as well as Visual Studio templates. Also shown here are examples of code in C Sharp. As with VB.NET, you can use C Sharp and the DriveWorks API to write your own functions and tasks. Let's have a look at Powerpacks. Our range of Powerpacks extend the existing functionality in DriveWorks. They provide advanced features to add more specialised functionality to your projects. The Powerpacks provide an easy way to communicate with other systems, such as the ones you can see here from our e-commerce Powerpack. The Powerpacks are updated for each major release of DriveWorks. They are free to anyone with an active subscription contract. They can be downloaded from DriveWorks Labs which contains some of the most common plugins for DriveWorks Professional. These plugins have been created by DriveWorks Limited. Installing and setting up these plugins is easy. Simply download and install, then go to the plugin section of the DriveWorks Pro settings to configure them for your needs. Each of the power packs is documented in our online documentation. You can see a screen capture here from our website. The documentation covers how to install each power pack as well as example functions and tasks. Section 6 is our Where Next section. Our Where Next section on this tech stack includes some links to see how our customers have integrated DriveWorks with other company systems to create a seamless process. When you visit this tech stack, have a look at these case studies and see the advances in productivity that were made by our customers. DriveWorks integration is just one of the core technologies that make DriveWorks the world leading technology solution that it is. You can learn more about the other core under the hood elements that you can see here which make up DriveWorks by exploring our tech stacks. Explore our technology at driveworkslive.com and remember they've all been created using DriveWorks technology.